there. Welcome back to The Lemon Abroad. Today I'm back in the kitchen and I am making a drink that I have been enjoying for a few years now, but that in its traditional form has been enjoyed on the Indian subcontinent for centuries. Nowadays, this drink is very popular. You can find it in coffee houses pretty much wherever you go. However, I like to make it at home because it's super easy to make and you can adapt it to your unique tastes. This drink is so warm and comforting. It's perfect for this time of the year when it's a little bit cold outside and it is a turmeric latte. It's super easy to make, so let's get started. So as I said, a turmeric latte is really wonderful to make at home because you can make it however you like and adapt it to your unique tastes. However, there are of course a few standard ingredients, the first one being turmeric. So this is turmeric. It's a root like ginger and this is the ground form. So it has this really beautiful color. However, it also is traditionally used to dye as well. So be careful because uh, it will stain. And along with the turmeric, you're going to need some black pepper. And the black pepper helps your body to absorb the benefits of the turmeric. This drink is so spicy and warm and you can make it more sweet or more savory as you like. The next two ingredients that are pretty standard are ginger, and here I have the ground form again, and cinnamon. If you look online, there are several recipes for a turmeric latte, several different variations. Um, something that I see uh, a lot is to add cardamom. I personally like to add pepperoncino, or some red pepper because I like it to be a little bit spicy. As I was doing research to make this video, I also came across a few websites that suggested adding saffron to your turmeric latte. And so I did buy some saffron and you only need to use about one of these strands of saffron, just crush it with the back of your spoon. Um, into the mix of powdered spices. Saffron is quite a luxurious spice and it did change the taste of the latte so I don't know that I will use it all the time but I think every once in a while it's a nice addition. And finally this drink is a latte so we do need some milk. I am using oat milk but you can use regular milk or another milk alternative like almond milk. I typically choose a milk alternative like a nut milk or oat milk and recently I learned about how oat milk uses exponentially less resources like water to produce than some nut milks so that's why I'm choosing oat milk. Like I said before this drink is really customizable and you can make it more sweet or more spicy savory as you like. Um, I've never added any type of sweetener to my drink. I find that I like the taste as it is and maybe with the milk it adds some sweetness already. Um, but you could of course add some honey, agave, or sugar to your drink if you want it to be a little sweeter. All right, so this drink is super easy to make. The first thing we need is some milk. So there is no strict recipe to make this drink. You, over time, will find the ratio of ingredients that suits your personal tastes. But in general, the main ingredient is, of course, the turmeric. So we'll be a little more generous with that. Quite a bit of turmeric and then just a little bit of black pepper. I personally like to have a lot of ginger in my latte, so I'm going to put quite a bit of ginger. Then a small amount of cinnamon 
just a few dashes, just a dash of red pepper. And in the end, you will have this beautiful mix of spices. Then you add the milk to the spice mixture. Then you will heat your milk and spice mix on a low heat and stir occasionally. As the milk begins to warm and the spices begin to um, release into the milk, you'll see that it will develop this really beautiful golden color and um, it will start to sort of froth up depending on which kind of milk you use. Just be careful that you keep an eye on it so that it doesn't overflow because like I said, this beautiful color that it will reach uh, does stain, so be careful about that. It only takes a few minutes to warm up a small amount of milk, so once you see that it's starting to simmer and that um, you can see underneath the froth there's this really lovely golden color, you can take it off the heat and it's ready to serve. So that's it. Very quick, very easy, very warm and comforting to make a turmeric latte at home. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you'll try to make a turmeric latte with your own mix of spices. Let me know in the comment section what you end up making and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao!